Today I'm going to do a little review on a messaging app that I use. It's called Byte SMS. It's way, way better than the stock messaging app or, in my opinion, any of the other messaging apps on the uh, on Cydia. Um, it's it does a little pop-up things where you can uh, reply from your lock screen and over any app and compose any pretty much anywhere you want. Uh, go into Cydia. Let this load up again. Okay. Just type in byte SMS. And uh, like I've said in my past videos, yes, I'm using the Insanely Eye uh, repo because I have no credit card and no job or anything because I'm really not old enough yet. Technically, I guess I am, but I'm, I don't have a job yet. So I have no way to pay for any of these packages. But I don't support pi uh, piracy, which is you know, insanely I uh, XLIs, the like the Haculos, the installers thing where you can download all the uh, download apps for free and crap like that. I don't support that, but uh, the installers thing, I use that to test out apps before I buy them, because that's something that I can do, is get iTunes cards every once in a while. But the only reason I use this is because I can't pay for it. If you can, please do. The, uh, these guys work really hard on the things that they make, and that's, really, that's the only way that they get uh, support, other than donations, of course. But... Uh, Go ahead and install that. It'll work on any, almost any device. There is a way to do it on the iPad, and you actually have to have this source to do it. I'm, I think I don't think there's a mod for it on the regular, uh, on the regular sources. But if you want to use this on an iPad, like for iMessage and stuff like that, if you go to the to the uh, I think it's I beta on here. Let's see. Okay, maybe not. I don't know where it is. I'll have to look that up. It might. Oh, here it is. It's on iMods. Enable by by SMS on iPad. That's it. But go ahead and install that and everything. And then. When you install it, nothing's going to change. You're just going to put an icon over here. It's going to be a pink icon like what you saw just then on Cydia. But we'll fix that here in a second. Go into it. Go to this little settings icon. And I'm going to, I'm going to do how I set it up. And this is probably how most people set it up. Because it, uh, how I do this, it gives you all the features that uh, Byte SMS provides. I'll leave that on mobile carrier unless you want to use the Byte SMS thing. But that's for uh, if you don't have text messaging, you can buy Byte SMS credits and it's a lot cheaper. Okay, go down to quick compute. Well, yeah, we'll go here and I don't. Okay, yeah. Tap this, the auto show recents. That'll come really in handy. Uh. I think this dem when done thing is is uh, off. Turn that on. And then go to go back. Go to quick reply. Leave that on quick reply. Leave that on quick reply. Uh, let's see. I think this one it would be off. Turn that one on. Uh, this one would be off as well. Actually, both of these might. I don't know. Turn both of those on. And then, pretty sure this one is off. Turn that one on as well. That's it for quick reply. Go down to uh, also you can add a signature and and a few other things are on here. Go to more stuff. 
you don't really want need to mess with any of this. I think character count is already on. Um, I don't. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's already on, so I don't don't mess with that. Uh, turn all timestamps on. Open to list. What that does is when you open the app, if you have a message, instead of going into the message, it opens up to the list, which I leave that on because I use that more. Um, put this to Apple Messages. If you don't want to look at that pink icon, it'll just go to the default green icon that the messages is, and then click Hide Messages app. And as you can see, you're going to have to respring for that, but we'll do that in a minute, unless I find more. Okay, that's it. That is my review on um, iMessage, not iMessage, my bad, uh, Byte SMS. Also, this little thing in the corner, you can tap that to quick reply. And then, of course, when you get a message, the same little thing is going to pop up with the name, the contact picture, and then the message. And then you can hit reply. Also, you can change the, uh, the order of the buttons uh, down below, the, like where the message is at and where you can compose. You can change the order and you can change how many buttons are on there. This is my re uh, review and tutorial on Byte SMS. Uh, subscribe for more.